Hey guys, today we are going to have a serious discussion. Should Alpha Investment have known MetaZoo was a scam? Now I'm going to go ahead and say yes. A lot of people told him in the comment section to the point that you look at these video titles and basically every video title is a big middle finger to the people who are telling him MetaZoo is a scam. Is it surprising to me that he continued with it? No. It is surprising that he allowed his face to be used. And not only was it his face, he actually got his family involved in making the last Matt MetaZoo card ever created, which was his Crown Eater Rudy promo. Now MetaZoo, the artwork sucked, as I agree with a lot of people in the comment section, the artwork was just not good. The game, no one even knew how to play it. Literally nobody. And if you didn't know how to play it, congrats, you won $50,000. Oh, just kidding. Psych. You didn't win nothing, my boy. We're going to not pay you, even though we advertised it everywhere. MetaZoo is a very interesting case study because, let's be quite frank, you should have known it coming. Now, in hindsight, you know, when I made my MetaZoo videos, I got attacked a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. And these people said, yo, you just don't understand the artwork. The artwork is just too good, right? Well, uh, I'm here to tell you the artwork is, in my opinion, uh, still very bad. It never got better. And I would say that uh, it a lot of interesting scenarios is playing itself out. And one of these interesting scenarios is, quite frankly, the fact that people are realizing that not every card game should be an investment. Every card game is not an investment. I would even say that most card games are probably just for fun. And you should not treat it as, oh, we are spending a lot of money on this and this is going to the moon. No. Uh, it is not. You're going to lose money if that is your rationale, which is all the alpha investment, Timmy's. And we're going to talk about Timmy. You guys saw an email from a Timmy who wanted to sell me his collection. It was his other garbage. We'll go over his collection. And you notice uh, what he has. He has Pokemon, Magic. Those two I would love to take. And he's got Fab, Sorcery, and, and MetaZoo. Uh, tell me that you or an alpha investment patron without telling me that you're an alpha investment patron. He doesn't even mention alpha investment because he knows that I won't buy his stuff. These Timmies are really, really desperate to sell. I mean, uh, we'll make a whole nother arc on this, but there were a lot of red flags that alpha investment just either didn't see coming. Uh, that's a nice way to say it. Or he saw it coming and didn't care because he was making so much money selling the Meta Zoo. I don't even think he played a game of MetaZoo, and I can I can prove to you that he didn't really care about MetaZoo. Okay, um, he has he purchased Flesh and Blood collections? Yes. Has he purchased Magic collections? Yes. All the blanking time he purchased Magic collections. You can go on his videos, and you will see that there are a lot of purchase videos where he's buying these collections. He likes buying, uh, he likes buying uh, flesh and blood collections. He likes buying uh, older boxes, right, of other sets. He definitely has a lot of Pokemon boxes. When you have a, how can I say it? When you have, when you're going out and you're buying every single product minus the one product with your face plastered all over it, there's a problem. There's a big problem. I've never seen him buy a MetaZoo sealed box from anyone. I've never seen him buy a MetaZoo card from anyone. All he ever did was to sell the items. That's all he ever did. That's all he ever did. Just sell as many items as he can and just hope for the best, right? Hope for the best. Keep his fingers crossed. At one time, do you know he was selling uh, MetaZoo cards for $820 a booster box? 
with, you know, some promos and stuff that are worthless today. That's crazy. You know, that is, in my opinion, cra it is crazy to imagine that amount of money being dumped into a single booster box. $820 a boot. People are complaining about Magic the Gathering uh, collector's editions. People be complaining about uh, the, what's the new set? Uh, Magic Gathering Modern Horizons 3. Oh, it's very expensive. Bloomboro. Oh, it's very expensive. But what if I told you there was a product that was two times the price? Two times the price of the most expensive MetaZoo. Uh, two times the price of the most expensive specialty collector's edition. And it was a MetaZoo boost box. And you'd be like, oh, maybe it was the first. No, it wasn't even the first boost box. It was the second boost box. It's wild. It's wild, and it doesn't make any sense, and I don't think anyone can tell me otherwise. Uh, it, it's not comparable. Like, when you're talking about that type of money, when you are talking about that type of money, $820 for a singular boost box. And also, I, I don't get it. Right, he's making fun of Magic 30th for a thousand dollars. Didn't you sell your bundles for like more than that? Sometimes there was a, literally a single booster box of this game sold for eight hundred and twenty dollars. That booster box now today, the market price goes to twenty twenty five dollars if you're lucky, I guess. After fees, after fees and shipping, and yet. They want you to believe that MetaZoo is doing really, really well. You know, hey, MetaZoo to the moon, baby. Like, when's the last time you spent $820 on a singular item? Nah, man, I, I, I'd be very serious to you. When is the last time you spent that type of money on a MetaZoo item? Or any item? Just give me, give me any item. Like, even a Magic the Gathering item isn't, like, outside of the $1,000. And that, that got a lot of criticism, mostly from this guy. Because he said it was expensive. And he was absolutely right. It was too expensive. So then how are you going to flip it and then say, hey, this $820 Magic uh, Meta Zoo product. You know, you know we talk about the... Uh... Man, this dude sold... A Meta Zoo boost box for eight hundred and twenty dollars, and if you bought five of them, you had to pay sixteen hundred and forty dollars. So there's some idiot out there. there. I guess there's a bunch of them that paid sixteen hundred and forty dollars for it. 